We want to know if this will stick around for a while though, Greg. Yeah, and especially in the spots that are seeing totality from the eclipse, it seems all we're talking about are the clouds that are arriving and our view of the eclipse looks like it'll be just fine in Chicago. We'll take a look at the other spots in just a second. First, I do want to get us through this evening and into tomorrow uh, because we will be dealing with some rain showers. Clouds will thicken up during the overnight. The winds will go up too. It'll be a breezy day with scattered showers at first tomorrow and then some more widespread rain during the early afternoon hours coming to an end right about dinner time or so. All right, how about the cloud cover here? Well, here's the latest highest res model. There's the path of the eclipse. Texas still looks like it's pretty cloudy through a majority of that, but spots like Carbondale where Larry will be live in Indianapolis where it looks like I'll be live are looking okay. Still a bit of a coin flip in terms of cloud cover right at eclipse time, but then those clouds start to thicken up as we start heading back into western New York and northern New York too. So something all eyes are on. This is the best case scenario. Some of the weather models though are trending more towards cloud cover, so we'll have to dig into those details as we get right up to the event. Karen, everybody's super excited. We are. Yeah. We are definitely it's like looking eclipse forward to it. Fury around everywhere. That's all everybody's talking about. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.